so today's video is going to be my April favorites. I'm gonna be sharing with you all the products I was really loving in the month of April, and I have to be honest here. This month has been one of the busiest, craziest months of my life. I have been trying to get everything settled for Lights Label. I haven't had any sleep this month. My dark circles are real crazy, and things just have been extremely, extremely intense. So I really haven't had the chance to sit down and explore a bunch of different makeup and really test things out. So I don't have a super long list for you guys today, but I am including some non-beauty favorites as well. And even though I don't have that many products, I really, really love these things. And now that we have officially launched Lights Label, I feel a little bit more relaxed and things are going smoothly. I feel like I can breathe again and get back into the swing of things. So let's begin. So I want to first give a huge shout out to the Overboard Eyeliner from ColourPop. This is their creme gel liner and they recently changed the packaging on all of them. They used to be in white packaging but now they're like color coordinated to the actual product inside which I love that. It's just a lot easier to store. Well, not that it's a lot easier to store but when I have all my eyeliners just thrown in a drawer, it's a lot easier to just pick one up when I see the whole color on the packaging. So I really love that they did that and I really, really love this color. Besides Mr. Bing, this is my favorite ColourPop eyeliner that they have created. There's something about this shade that makes it so unique and special almost. I know it just looks like a typical bronze, but I love the fact that it looks different when you start to smudge it out. This color, it's actually the only thing I have on my eyes. Let me show you. I'm wearing it in my waterline and I'm also wearing it smudged on the top and smudged on the bottom and when you put it just on the waterline you really see that golden undertone shine through and it looks really sheeny but once you start like smudging it out with a brush it kind of creates a more neutral brown and it gets really smoky and really really pretty and I feel like it's a nice alternative to brown but still being like funky and unique and I don't know I really truly love this eyeliner. It's been my favorite. I can't stop wearing it. I have just been smudging it underneath every single day almost. I can't get enough of it. I'm actually gonna go on the ColourPop website and buy like five of these because I love it that much. So I was watching one of Jaclyn Hill's favorites videos like a couple months ago and she mentioned, was it a couple months ago? I don't remember. She mentioned the Cheek Leader Mini Bronze Squad Palette from Benefit and she was talking about how much she loved this highlight, how it was really sheeny and glowy and just like metallic and beautiful and I was really intrigued by that so I bought it immediately and I have been using it non-stop ever since I bought it. It's the highlight I'm wearing on my cheeks right now and she is absolutely right. There is something really special about this highlight. By the way, it's called Cookie. They have two different trios on Sephora. I got the one with Cookie in it because that, that's the highlight. But they absolutely need to release this in a single, like by itself, because this is one of the most stunning, super foiled metallic highlights I have ever seen. Now, this isn't for the faint of heart. This is foiled. This gives you a super, super intense sheen on the skin. And if you're not careful, you can create kind of like a stripe look. Do you know what I mean? Like it can get real metallic really fast, but just as a topper, like right at the top of the cheekbone, oh my God, it makes your cheeks sing. This is truly a beautiful highlight. And when you look at it in the pan, it really doesn't do it justice. It's something you have to put on your face because it is magical. It's a magical highlight. And this palette comes in handy, especially when you're traveling, you get a little mirror. You also get the famous Hula and the Gold Rush blush, which isn't my favorite blush. I actually prefer it in the single. For some reason, this one in the trio is a lot more sheer than it is in the single. But I think the whole palette is worth it just for that highlight alone. And I really love Hula, so this little guy is awesome. And it's gonna be my travel buddy from now on. Speaking of palettes, have you got in your Alamar palette? I'm obsessed with blush these days, and that's all I'm gonna say because I've said that in my last five favorites videos. It's a thing now, it's a thing. I used to hate blush, and now it's like, put it all over my face. Alamar Cosmetics recently launched three blush palettes. These two are the ones I use the most just because the one for deeper skin obviously is too deep for me, but those are awesome as eyeshadows. But most often I am using Fair Light or Medium Tan. Today I actually mixed Paraiso with a little bit of Seclusion. This is actually my favorite combo to do at the moment. This is a really pretty everyday pink, and then this is a gorgeous peach, and I love the look it gives my cheek when I mix them together. I am wearing both of them on my cheeks right now. But Paraiso has been my favorite blush hands down. It reminds me so much of NARS Madly. Do you remember when I was obsessed with Madly? That was like my top blush for a long time. And this one reminds me so much of that. It goes with like 
every makeup look because it's not a super cool tone pink. It's very neutral, so I feel like it vibes with any eye look. I really, really love Paris, so it's my favorite one in this palette. But Seclusion is gorgeous too. They're, they're all gorgeous, and they all have this really buttery, sheeny texture to them. Mm, they blend like a dream. These are pretty affordable palettes when you break them down and you see how much you're getting. Like. That's a steal. I really, really love these. They're perfect for the spring and summer. They just give you that juicy, warm look to the cheeks, and I'm into it. Okay, so this is no surprise, and I spoke about this in my Sephora recommendations video, but the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Bronzer in In The Sun has been... <laughs> I feel like I say that so weird in the sun. This has been a great bronzer for me when it comes to contouring The undertone in this bronzer is really similar to my favorite Thrive Cosmetics bronzer Rhea But it's much lighter. So it's perfect for those of you with super fair skin I'm talking like porcelain skin can even contour with this and it's not gonna look too muddy or too dark And it has a very smooth buildable blendable formula Sometimes I feel like it is a little bit too light for my skin But I just have to build it up a little bit more and I find that it works perfectly fine so I really like that because I feel like you're not applying too much all at once and you can get a nice clean precise contour And a lot of the times I'll apply bronzer to my entire face And then I'll just take a brush and contour my cheeks just a little bit if I feel like they need a little bit more chiseling I feel like when the summer starts to roll around and I get more tan This will be too light for me And then I'll probably go back to my Rhea bronzer because that one's perfect for me when I'm more tan But right now with my fair skin, this is awesome. The formula is great. It blends like a dream And I have been really really impressed with it. Oh my god I love this brush. I used to hate giant brushes like this for bronzer, especially if you want a precise bronzing. Like this is way too big. Look at this. But I have been loving this for like a wash of bronzer, just like, you know, all over the body, just a little bit. I'm actually wearing right now the, besides the Fenty Beauty bronzer, I'm wearing the Morphe Icon bronzer that I mentioned in my last month's favorites. And this brush is perfect for that. You just dunk it right in and just like swipe it all over the face and it gives you like a really blown out diffused bronze look. I love it. This is the Equal Tools Full Powder Brush, and you can get this at Ulta or CVS or Walgreens, wherever they sell Equal Tools. It's a really, really great brush, and it's super soft. Like, guys, this is like Marc Jacobs soft, like those Marc Jacobs brushes. This might even feel softer than that. It is 100, 150% worth it. It feels like a high-end brush. The quality is amazing, and it washes perfectly fine. I haven't had any issues, and I truly love it. It's amazing for powder, anything you want to use it for. It's awesome. I have I've been loving really shiny lips these days as you guys know I have been on the hunt for like those perfect lacquer type of lipsticks where they're lipsticks but they're super shiny I love juicy lips these days but some days you just want a matte lip you know I really do still love that look and it seems like the nude sticks intense matte lip and cheek pencils are it for me I freaking love this formula you guys know my love Wait a second. I just realized my Nude Sticks lip color in Joyce is the Magnetic Matte Lip Color. And this is the Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil. Is this like more matte than this? Why are they called like that? Why are they different? I feel like they have similar formulas. They're both really matte and really beautiful. I don't know. But you guys know I love Joyce. It's like my favorite chocolate lip. And this color in Entice, oh my gosh. I recently bought it off of Nordstrom and it has been my go-to matte peachy lip like all the time. I love this color so much. It's the color I'm wearing on my lips right now. I'm wearing it over a nude lip liner, but this is pretty much all I've got going on. If I wear it alone, Without a lip liner underneath, I find that it's a little bit too peachy for my lips and it kind of washes me out a bit. So I love layering this on top of a lip liner, especially contour from Pat McGrath or Supernatural from Pat McGrath. It creates a nice deep peachy nude and I love this color. I love that it's matte. It just kind of makes the lips look bigger and it's a very comfortable matte. It's not like a super drying liquid lipstick kind of matte. It's really, really lovely. You just have to be careful because it is a lighter shade. You will get that butthole lip situation. If you don't don't moisturize your lips first or prep the lips or anything like that so just keep that in mind but regardless I love this color it's such a pretty coral peach and I feel like it is perfect for the springtime okay I mentioned these when I did my haul but you need these guys <laughs> No one's talking about these. I know they're brand new, but I, you need these. These are lipsticks from the brands from the Sephora collection and these are their Rouge Lacquer lipsticks and they are 
what I've been looking for. Exactly what I've been looking for. My favorite shiny lipsticks are the Marc Jacobs gloss sticks. Those are unbeatable to me. I have never experienced a lipstick quite as shiny and balmy and beautiful as those, but these are very, very similar. They're not as good, but they are really great. They just leave the lips with incredible shine, really juicy color. They don't give you that butthole lip. It doesn't last a super long time, but you can just reapply and it doesn't mess with the formula because it is so creamy and just slippy, but it doesn't get all over your face either. I I just love these. These are the perfect everyday lipsticks, honestly. Especially when you don't want to worry about getting perfect in the lines or anything like that. I love the nudes. I haven't really purchased any of the deeper shades because I just like shiny nudes a lot or like shiny natural colors. I'm gonna pop on L21 really quick. I hate that these don't have names. So good. And they smell really good too. It's not like a vanilla scent or like a yummy scent, but it's definitely pleasant. It doesn't smell like chemicals at all. And it just leaves your lips with such a pretty shine. It looks like a hybrid between a lip gloss and a lipstick. And I really, really love that. It's also great to eliminate the butthole lips. Like for example, if you're wearing Entice and you've been wearing it all day and you're starting to form that little situation on the inside, take this out of your purse, pop it on top and boom, butthole disappeared. I love those lipsticks. I think they are amazing. The only thing I will say, I have one con, which is weird. I feel like this doesn't happen to me that often, but you know how sometimes you'll put on a lipstick and you'll like taste it a little bit? Like it kind of like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain this. It kind of like settles in your throat. You know what? Never mind. Just try not to eat this. Just try not to eat it or lick it or like don't let it get in your mouth because it doesn't taste the best what I'm getting at. Anyway, moving on. The last lip product I want to talk about is actually part of the new Alamar collection with the blush trios. This is their Mother of Pearl lip gloss, but this one is called Sirenita, and this one is my favorite. I love Sirenita. I love the name. Sirenita, that's so cute. But I love this color. It reminds me of NARS Orgasm. It's a beautiful pink that has a ton of peachy golden shimmers all throughout it. Actually, you know what? Now that I say that, this is the NARS Orgasm Lip Gloss in Orgasm. And I'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand really quick. I love this lip gloss a lot. Like, I love the consistency and the texture, but I did feel like it needed more golden sheeniness. Like, I didn't feel like it screamed orgasm the way that this screams orgasm. <laughs> but I just wanna show you side by side so you can see. This one is NARS's Orgasm, and this is Sirenita from Alamar. Obviously, NARS is more pink, and Sirenita is a little bit more golden peach, but I feel like that's because of all the beautiful golden shimmers that are in this lip gloss. They're different, but this just reminds me of NARS Orgasm, dude, it does. It's beautiful, the golden sheen really does show up on the lips, and it's a very, very comfortable gloss. It's not one that lasts a million hours. You do have to reapply throughout the day because it's not really stick, stick thick and sticky. It's more of a thinner, balmy kind of gloss, but these are a little bit more comfortable to wear, especially if your hair is down. It honestly depends on the mood I'm in. Sometimes I like a thick, glossy, juicy, lacquer lip look, but sometimes I want a thinner, more comfortable gloss. It really just depends. I'm actually gonna pop on a little bit of Sierra that right now. I have so many lip products on, but that's okay. Oh, and, and, now that I'm applying it, I remembered. This smells like pineapples, like, Pineapples! Like, for real, for real, for real, for real, for real. Like, the first time I used it, um, Gabby didn't tell me that she had put pineapple in the scent. And I was like, what is this pineapple explosion I'm smelling? I was so pleasantly surprised. It's so summery and delicious, and it is really pleasant to put on. I love this scent. But yes, I have been loving this gloss. I think all of them in the collection are really nice, but Sirenita is the winner. Okay, so those were all the makeup products I have to share with you guys, and now we are moving on to non-makeup products. And why did I think this video was gonna be really short? It's already long and we're not done, so. So I know body glows have been all the rage and I recently spoke about a bunch of them for my Sephora recommendations video, but I have been loving this so much and I've used so much. It doesn't look like I have, but this was full. This is the Jasmine Glowing Hydration Body Oil from the brand Herbivore. It is such a delightful, beautiful body oil. I love this scent. Okay, if you're not a fan of jasmine, you will not like how this smells because this smells identical to jasmine, like to the actual plant. It's insane. It It is jasmine. Oh my God. Oh my God. This smells just like the plant. I have a bunch of um night blooming jasmines in my backyard and they really only open at nighttime and you smell them a lot at night. This smells just like it. It's insane. I mean, it's jasmine, obviously. 
but it's crazy. I really love this because this is the perfect way to moisturize your body without feeling greasy or oily. This is a really lightweight, super lightweight hydrating oil. It kind of feels like a body moisturizer without the greasiness, honestly. Once it sinks into your skin, it completely goes away, but you feel extra hydrated and nourished. It's like amazing. It leaves the skin so soft, like your skin is super soft. And I honestly don't know why it's called the glowing body oil because I don't think you glow. It's not like a Fenty Beauty body lob or anything. There's no shimmer in this. It's just a super lightweight oil. Such a weird oil to describe. It's like oily without being oily. I don't know how to explain it, but I have been loving this so much and I cannot wait to really dunk my whole body in this, especially for the summertime when everything is really dry and I'm at the pool a lot. I cannot wait. If you've been wanting a body oil, Oil, but you don't want all the shimmer and all the glow and all that unnecessary stuff get yourself the jasmine body oil because it sinks right into the skin and it smells just like jasmine it's so good another oily kind of product that i have been loving so much is actually from glossier when i was recently in la i went to the glossier store which by the way is the cutest freaking store i have ever seen like wow so much thought went into that whole thing it's amazing but the girl that was working there was talking to me about their body hero and she was telling me how much she loved it and how she uses it every day in the shower and it's amazing so she made it seem so good I had to have it and I have been using it non-stop ever since and it is so so good I have been using the L'Occitane almond oil like body wash for years now Danny and I love that one but ever since she gave me this I have been using this so so much it works the same way as the L'Occitane body oil it's a shower oil that feels super oily when you put it on the skin but the minute it makes contact with water it gets so soapy and creamy and delicious and I feel like it does clean your body really well while keeping it very 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 moisturized like when you use this your body would, would does not feel dry it could not feel dry it's so hydrating and so intense it honestly feels really nice and it kind of feels like you're in a spa this has such a earthy herbally eucalyptusy florally deliciousy kind of scent and in the shower I don't know what it is about like the steam of the shower or what but it feels like a spa experience when you're washing your body with this it's so good I would assume some people don't like this scent because it is kind of like herbally kind of but it's really nice and really relaxing and I just love bathing with this it's a really great oil body wash oh my god Let's talk about something that does not smell good. I love this so freaking much. I haven't been using it for the entire month, but I have been using it for like two and a half weeks now, and I can't get enough. I had to talk about it. This is from the brand Glow Recipe, and it's their Pineapple Sea Bright Serum. This is basically just a serum with um, vitamin C, AHA, hyaluronic acid, and even pineapple juice. But it's just supposed to brighten the skin, take away redness, dullness, uneven texture, and all that good stuff. And holy crap, I feel like this is working. I recently told you guys that I was getting these breakouts and these bumps on my forehead and I'm pretty sure it was the probiotics I was taking, but also, also I found the other culprit because I used it again and it happened again. The Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer is amazing, but it 100% breaks me out. So that freaking sucks, but this has been doing such a good job of evening out my skin tone. I swear when I wake up in the morning, my skin looks brighter, smoother, my bumps are smaller, my overall texture texture honestly is dramatically improved when I use this like I can see a difference in the morning and I feel like with certain skincare products you can only start seeing a difference after using it for a while but I saw like immediate results with this guy and even still to this day I've been using it for like two weeks and I'm, I'm using it every day every night before bed I will just wash my face apply this serum like two drops of this serum and then I'll go in with my moisturizer and then go to bed and it has been working wonders you can also use this in the morning like if you wash your face apply this serum and then apply a sunscreen on top because this does have like the AHA and you want to make sure you're protecting your sun skin from the sun But anyway, this sits really well on my skin. It doesn't irritate it. I have been loving it I'm going to continue to use this it has become a nice solid little guy in my skincare routine And I haven't been really impressed with glow recipe in the past like their watermelon mask is not my favorite I like their watermelon spray, but their skincare stuff hasn't been my favorite until I discovered this This is fabulous now, the first time I used this, I put it on my face and I had like the dogs around me and I thought the dogs had peed. I was like looking around, I'm like, what is that piss smell I'm smelling? After looking around, I realized it was coming from my face. The piss was on my face. This smells awful. When you smell it in the thing, 
Even here it smells like piss. But it's more concentrated so you really do smell that pineapple juice. The way that I could describe the scent, besides dog piss, um, I would say, you know when you leave pineapples outside by mistake under the hot sun for like a 4th of July party or something and then at the end of the day you're like, oh crap, I've left my pineapples outside the whole time. The old pineapple scent is like lingering and you smell it like old rancid pineapple. Yeah, that's what this smells like. The smell is so bad that I really thought that I was not gonna use it again. But the next day when I woke up and I saw my skin looked so pretty and so good, I was like, okay, I'm gonna look past that scent and I'm gonna continue to use this. So I just wanna give you a warning, this smells awful, but it gives really, really amazing results, at least for my skin, and I feel like it's totally worth it. The smell doesn't even bother me anymore. I will look past it. It is so, so good. Such a good serum and also so cute. It's like Spongebob's house, but smellier. Okay, I have mentioned this on my Instagram stories, but I have to mention it here because it is a game changer. I have been very vocal about how much I love my wet brush. I have been using it for a really, really long time now. I had never found a brush that was as good as my wet brush until I discovered this. And it wasn't even my discovery. I was getting my hair done uh, by my friend Amanda. She is like my hair goddess. She does my hair for everything. She was recently doing my hair for my Lights Label photo shoot. And she was like, Kathleen, you need to buy this brush. And I was like, why? And she always does my hair. Like she works with my hair a lot for so many photo shoots. And she was like, no, no, I've never seen a brush go through your hair so smoothly and effortlessly like this brush. Like not even the wet brush, nothing. This was detangling my hair like a dream. It wasn't getting caught in my hair. It was kind of bizarre how amazing it was. And she told me it was from the brand Kristen S. And I got it at Target and I haven't looked back ever since. It is freaking amazing. It's very similar to the wet brush, but even better. It doesn't tangle. It just goes right through your hair. You can use it wet or dry. That's how I feel. It's not labeled a wet brush, but I use it on my wet hair and it doesn't break my hair or anything. I love it. I honestly cannot see myself using any other brush to detangle my hair ever again. It's pretty freaking epic. So thank you, Amanda. You're amazing. Thank you, Kristen S. You're amazing. I love this. Okay, so I want to show you some jeans. I know I spoke about jeans in my last favorites video, but that's all I wear. It's leggings, jeans, it's my thing. But before I do, I want to share with you my jewelry, specifically and especially this ring that I cannot get enough of. This is like my favorite ring. <laughs> it's just a really basic pearl ring, but I love that it's adjustable. You can do whatever you want with it. You can fit it on any finger. So it's like, okay, I want it on my ring finger. No, just kidding. I want it on this finger. No, just kidding. I want it on this finger. No, just kidding. I want it on this finger. How many rings do you own at home that can fit all your fingers? I love adjustable rings, but this is the little pearl ring from the April Seal bag, and I've just been wearing it non-stop. You guys know pearls are like my thing these days, and I just feel like it's such a cute little dainty ring that's perfect for every day and just goes with pretty much anything, and this month the box actually came in silver as well. I'm pretty sure you can't get this ring on her website like by itself. It's part of her April Seal bag, just like these earrings are. These are like my new favorite little hoops. They also come in the April Seal bag. This has been my favorite bag so far. I feel like every month she gets better and better and it's such an amazing way to save money on really nice jewelry like this is sterling silver like it's all gold plated and the actual material is really nice and yeah i have just been really really loving the co jewelry this month especially this pro ring can't get enough okay and then last but not least i spoke about these on my instagram stories but i have been wearing them non stop these are jeans from the brand top shop i got them off of nordstrom you can get them off the top shop website but they are called these spray mom jeans because they are like spray painted well not really spray painted i don't know what they used it's like sprayed with a pink tint not to be confused with the top shop jeans that are pink ombre they look very similar to this no i'm talking about the spray mom jeans these i have a very short torso so i feel like sometimes mom jeans look really weird on me which is why most of the time i will tend to shop at top shop petite but they didn't have these jeans in petite but regardless i find that they still work for me and i like that they're regular jeans with a little twist to them. So I'm really into them. I just thought I'd let you know because when I posted them on my Instagram stories, I did get a few questions about it. So top shop. These were all the products I was truly, truly loving in the month of April. I mean, I was using a bunch of different makeup this month, but these were the standout products for me and things I will continue to use throughout the spring and summer. But anyway, guys, leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite product of April was. And if I haven't checked it out, maybe I will. But that completes this video, guys. Did I say that already? Did I say that? I love you guys so, 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 so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. This was probably one of the busiest, craziest months. Grizzies. It's so easy. Sir?
Oh no. No, no. Oh no. Did my eyeliner just break? Oh my god! Today I actually, today I actually missed. Oh, it didn't break, it didn't break, it didn't break. I haven't found a brush that it, I have never, oh my god.